Hi there, I hope this video finds you well. Today we're wrapping up the series on a couple of 3 pound mushroom supplies grow bags that I put in fruiting conditions on October 5th. In the last video, we harvested fruits from both bags, getting a total of 16 grams out of the bag that was fruiting in the max yield bin and 4.6 grams out of the bag inside the unmodified tub. And with that second bag, I noticed that the moisture levels were too high, so I went ahead and removed the cake completely from the bag to try and get the environmental conditions in a better place. Cut to November 4th, 30 days into fruiting conditions, and we're getting a little bit more out of the bag that's inside the max yield bin, although it's starting to seem like we're not going to get too much more out of it. I harvested the fruits on this cake over the next 12 hours or so, which yielded another 2.6 grams. Then I misted it down and left it to see if I'd get any more out of it. Meanwhile, in the second bag inside the unmodified tub, I'm seeing some noticeable improvements since removing the cake completely from the bag. The mushrooms I'm getting now are looking a lot nicer than the previous ones, which just look downright pitiful. So I think it's pretty safe to say that changing the environmental conditions was definitely the right move in order to salvage this one. The next day, I had some fruits ready to harvest along with others that needed some more time. So I did a bit of a staggered harvest over the next seven days, which yielded seven grams. A huge improvement over what was being produced while the cake was still in the bag. Now checking back in on our first bag on November 8th, 34 days into fruiting conditions, and it's looking like this fella just doesn't have much juice left. I continued monitoring it over the next several days, and even those pins that looked like they had promise stalled out on development. So it was time to toss this cake to free up the max yield bin for my North Spore Boomer bag grow. Now we cut to November 19th, 45 days into fruiting conditions, and the second grow bag inside the unmodified tub is producing a bit more. While these aren't the biggest mushrooms in the world, they're still a big improvement over what I was getting out of this cake initially. I harvested over the next 24 hours and that yielded another two and a half grams. I left the bag to see if it would produce more and on November 30th, 56 days into fruiting conditions, I got the last little bit from this cake, but it was only 0.3 grams. So in total, the first mushroom supplies grow bag that I fruited in the max yield bin produced 18.2 grams of dried mushrooms and the second bag produced 14.4 grams. Definitely not setting any records with those numbers, but it's been a really good learning experience regardless, and I really enjoyed the process for getting my feet wet in this world of mycology. I'd say for anyone just getting started growing mushrooms, these kinds of all-in-one grow bags are probably a great initial stepping stone to gain some experience and knowledge before diving into larger, more involved grow projects. It was for me at least. All right, and that's it. If you'd like to see the full series chronicling these two grow bags, I've created a playlist that you can check out. Thanks so much for watching, and until the next one, be well.